Hello, I'm Nancy Mitchell with the Etiquette Advocate, and we are talking about dining etiquette. We are now going to focus on dessert. Dessert has been served, it comes with coffee or tea. How do we proceed? We earlier moved our dessert utensils from above our place setting to the left and the right of our place setting. We now have the option of using two utensils for dessert. Traditionally, that's what was done. The fork was used in the left hand as an anchor, if you will, to hold various foods or items in the dessert service in place while the spoon would scoop each bite. This is something that you still can do. If you choose to only use fork or spoon, that's all right as well. If you have something like cheesecake, pie, other kinds of cake, you may just need the fork. That's perfectly all right. Between bites, the fork stays on the plate, as we mentioned throughout the uh, tutorial. Utensils cannot go back onto the table or the tablecloth after they've been used. So between bites, I would place the fork on my plate. If I have chosen to use two utensils while I'm eating the dessert, both of these would be on the plate between bites or when I finish. Coffee then will be offered at that point by the wait staff. If you don't want coffee or tea, you do not want to turn your cup upside down to indicate you don't want that beverage. Just pass your hand over the top of the cup and look, speak to the waiter, say no thank you when they come around to serve coffee or tea. If you want cream or sugar, ask the person who is closest to those those uh, condiments to pass them to you please. If they're near you, even if you're not using cream or sugar, you should start these around the table. Obviously someone at your table is going to require cream or sugar. So you would start the sugar bowl in this fashion, passing to the right, and the cream in this fashion. Any condiment or serving piece that has a handle, the handle should be pointed toward the person who's receiving it as you pass it to them. Make it easy for them to grasp it. So you may have to pick it up in this fashion, turn it around, have the handle pointing toward the person it's going to. One note on passing items. If someone to your right or left has asked that an item be passed, you should not use the item as it goes around you. It needs to go to the person who asked for it and then it goes back to people who have been skipped in that whole process. It's called short stopping the items if while they're going around you decide you're going to use them or take something from a bread basket or take something from a serving plate while it's on its way to the person who has asked for it. Don't do that. That's rude. Coffee, let's say you have added cream or sugar, you want to, st to stir very silently. Don't make a lot of noise with your spoon. Never leave a spoon in a coffee or a teacup in that manner. It's going to be spilled. It's going to be hit. It's going to be spilled. Take the spoon out. Always have the spoon in the liner under the cup. Tea bags. Let's talk about the fact you may say to the waiter, may I have tea instead of coffee. They may bring you an individual serving pot. They may bring you a tea bag. If you have dunked a tea bag, you've made tea in your own cup, never use the spoon and wind the tea bag around the spoon and squeeze it. You don't want to do that. Very bad form. If you have a tea bag that does not have a string on it, it's in there, it's steeped as long as you want it, Use your spoon to remove the bag, put it on the liner. Remember, anything like tea bags, sugar packets, anything that, that is a, a, a separate piece of equipment or condiments or whatever, once you've used them, they always need to go on a saucer, on the rim of a plate, serving plate, bread plate, whatever. They don't go back on to the tablecloth. Next, we're going to talk about eating challenging foods, how to tackle difficult items. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeyseed.com.